Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Marvel Rivals Season 1. Make sure to watch this video till the end and stick around without wasting any more time. Let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best Windows settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and then go down to gaming. Head over to game bar and simply disable it. Game bar is an overlay service which uses your CPU and RAM resources. Disabling that will help you to improve your PC's performance. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, improving your FPS. After that, go down to graphics, then click on change default graphics settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as it will reduce input and render latency. Go back to graphics and then click on the browse button and then locate Marvel Rivals. Once you find it, simply open it up and then head over to Marvel Game, Marvel, Binaries, Win64 and then select Marvel Rivals Win64 shipping.exe. Click on add and if that is already added, scroll down to find that. Select it, head over to options and then select high performance to ensure that it utilizes your graphic card. Then select save and then close it. Next step is the compatibility settings and for that open up Steam. Right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Head over to Marvel Game, Marvel, Binaries, Win64 and then right click on your Win64 shipping. Head over to properties, then head over to compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimization. Then change high DPI settings, select override high DPI scaling behavior, click on ok, click on ok and then close it. This will help you to improve your input latency. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then go down to local disk C, click on create and name it Marvel Rivals just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Before we move ahead, I want to introduce you guys to LD Shop. The platform offers you in-game currencies to materials at discount. LD Shop is an official distributor with a 4.9 rating and over 500 reviews on Trustpilot. They have wide varieties of games from PC to mobile. Okay, once you're on the website, locate Marvel Rivals or you guys can go to the link in the description below. And right over here, you guys can find all of the products you can buy for Marvel Rivals. I would like to top up 100 lettuces on my account so select that and now you need to enter your game uid for the uid open up your game and see the uid right over here simply copy it and then paste it onto marvel rivals uid right over here then click on top up once the transaction is completed you guys can see transaction completed click on that and voila now i have 100 light ices added into my account which is super simple and very convenient it took me literally one second to add that in my account they also have a 24 hour support system that can assist you better. They have huge offers going on every now and then, so you guys can go check out LD Shop from the link in the description below. Alright, next step is a Marvel Rivals S1.5 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can simply double click to open it up and you'll find in six simple folders. Let us start with the first one that is CPU priority in which I have left AMD CPU priority as well as Intel CPU priority. Once again, to run it, you can double click to run according to your processor and it will help you to set up the correct D word value that is required to optimize the performance. After that, head back to the second folder that is RAM optimization, which basically does the same thing, but for your memory. I have 32 GB RAM over here, so I need to apply this registry, but I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. You guys can choose from that. Once again, if that doesn't give you the best performance, head back to reset to default and apply this. Third one is a rivals priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority and to apply them i would recommend you guys to leave your pc specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which one you need to choose right over here fourth one is the unwanted services in which i have left a ton of services which are completely useless and consume a lot of processes in the background to disable them simply double click and start disabling every single one of them and it will help you to optimize your pc's performance drastically once again if you use any bluetooth or printer services leave the printer service right over here and then if you want to revert them again head over to the revert registries folder and you guys can revert them back again Again. Fifth folder over here is an input latency fix in which I have left disable process mitigation which will help you to run a PowerShell command automatically. Second one is latency tweaks which will help you to disable BCD edit, high precision event timer and synthetic timers. Simply right click and run both of them as administrator. I have already done it so I won't repeat that again. Last one is the useful programs in which I have left three simple programs. First one is clean temporary files.bat you wanna have to right click and run it as administrator. Once you are here it will ask you to politely clean 
clean all temporary files and what you guys have to do is simply press any key on your keyboard and it will start deleting all temporary files. It is a good and a healthy process to do it every now and then and once that is done, press any key to continue. Next one is MSI Mode Utility 3.0, you wanna have to right click on it as administrator. This software is very handy and is useful if you want to increase the performance of your graphic card and for that you wanna have to check mark on the MSI button next to your graphic card and for the interrupt priority you wanna have to set this into high and then click on apply. Once you've done that, it will help you to handle more interrupts on your GPU and once that is done, simply close it. Last program over here is the quick CPU set setup and you wanna have to run it on your PC. Once you have installed quick CPU on your PC, what you guys have to do is open it up and you'll find in a very complicated interface just like this with a ton of options over here. We are interested in the core parking which we have to slide all the way up to 100% along with the frequency scaling, turbo boost and performance. Once that is done, for the power plan you're gonna have to select this and select ultimate performance if that is available for your PC. If not, you're gonna have to go with high performance. Make sure to click on set as active to make sure that the plan is active and once that is done, click on the apply button over here. Once that is done all of your cpu cores will be active and helping you to improve the performance of your processor once that is done simply close this application and close the fps pack next step is fixing all of your network issues packet loss latency and ping issues using no ping which you guys can download for free from the link in the description below you can click on the free trial over here and download it once you open up the application it should look like this it has a very simple interface with over 1000 games to choose from simply look up for marvel rivals over here and then click on it then it will help you to choose the nearest server to you which will be recommended by the AI. What you guys have to do is simply click on optimize this game and it will help you to connect your PC straight to the game servers without any kind of hindrance allowing your PC to improve all kind of performance issues with your packet loss, ping and jitter. Once you're done with that, simply minimize this application. I personally use Nooping for myself and I have seen drastic improvements and I think that you guys can go and check it out for yourself too. You'll find it in the link in the description below. Next step is the config settings and for that simply press Windows and R key together and then type in MS config right over here. Then head over to the boot section, advanced options, then select number of processor and choose the maximum number of processors available right over here. Click on OK and then click on apply. Then head over to the services tab and then select hide all Microsoft services. Then start disabling all unwanted services right over here. Some of these services may include Adobe Update services, Apple service, fan control and RGB service, printer services, browser update services, any kind of servers that you are running, overlay services and a lot more. Know that what you are doing because disabling these services might crash some of your programs which are dependent. Some programs are VGC which is really dependent for your Valorant. Once you're done with that, simply click on OK. Then click on Exit without restart. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you are here click on adjust for best performance then select custom and now you wanna have to select save as well thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while tracking and smooth edges of screen fonts these four options will help you to keep the basic look of your windows intact while disabling all kind of unnecessary animations of your pc the next step is right in the advanced tab that is in the virtual memory simply click on change button and then deselect automatically manage paging file size over here for your local disk c set the size to 1361 and for the maximum size open up your calculator now once again, I use 32 GB RAM so I need to multiply that with 1024 because the demand is in megabytes. Divide this value by 2 and a new value should be pasted in the maximum size right over here. Click on set, click on ok, then click on apply and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory. It is a concept used by Windows when your RAM is completely utilized, your PC automatically utilizes your hard disk drive as a virtual RAM. Once that is done, click on ok and now you guys can drop into the game with the best in game settings. Ok, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to settings then in the display settings make sure that your display mode is always set to full screen then click on apply next for your anti-aliasing and super resolution type i would recommend you guys to go with nvidia dlss if you have nvidia graphic card or with amd fsr if you have an amd graphic card for the super resolution mode go with quality or balanced both of them works perfectly fine amd fsr 3 frame generation i would not recommend you guys to turn this thing on enable reflex low latency if that is available for you limit f FPS turned off, show FPS on, network stats on, vsync off. Then for the graphics quality, set it to custom. 
screen space reflection, global illumination go with off, reflection quality go with off, model detail high, post processing low, shadow detail medium, you guys can also go with low, texture detail I have gone with high but you guys can go with medium, that works fine, effects detail medium, foliage detail medium. After that, press enter to apply these settings and then click on confirm. Once all of that is done, you guys can now drop into the game with the best FPS possible. So that is it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers. I trust you all and we'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.